Welcome back to On a Cruise, and welcome to the first episode of our Celebrity Silhouette Norwegian Fjords Cruise Series. In this episode, come with us as we squeeze in all the must-sees during our pre-cruise stay in London, all before we head to Southampton to board the Celebrity Silhouette. travel day to London for our Norway cruise is finally here. It's going to be a long travel day. Well, travel night actually. But in about 12, 14 hours from now, we'll be arriving in London. So off we go. Okay, we've made it to our first connection here in Montreal, Quebec. Next stop is London, but we do have a few hours here. It is really busy actually. I'm not sure it's going to stay this way, but right now we are definitely crammed in here. It's very busy. It's very busy. We're on board. Yeah, let's go to sleep. Into London. Okay, we made it to Heathrow. Flight was pretty good. I don't think either of us got a whole lot of sleep, but we're not doing too bad. Uh, we got our bags. We need to go find the Piccadilly line or the Elizabeth line, figuring it out, make our way into London to the hotel. Here we go. Okay, made it to the hotel, but we can't check in for another two and a half hours, so. A little bit of caffeine, and then we're gonna head out, go for a little walk, uh, and then we'll come back, check in, and then we do have a little tour scheduled for a bit later. So we're gonna keep pushing on through. No jet lag for us. Yeah, we're somewhat settled in here. Will's just grabbing a quick shower, and then we're gonna head out, uh, because the plan is, it is now about one o'clock p.m. local time. Uh, it's obviously feeling much earlier for us right now, but, we have a tour planned at Buckingham Palace. It's a stateroom tour at 5 p.m. So we managed to get into our room a bit early. So then we're gonna head out, check out a bit of the area around the hotel. We're staying in the area, uh, Covent Gardens. Then we're gonna make our way toward Buckingham Palace. I don't think we can record for that tour, but we'll see what we can find along the way. And I'm not sure after that, we're probably gonna be tired, but we're gonna push through and uh, make the best of day one here in London. We'll, uh, we'll go from there. Here's a look at room 502 at Club Quarters Hotel Covent Garden. We have a nice big wardrobe with a TV and desk area, nice big windows, and a queen size bed. In the bathroom, it's fair sized with a good size shower stall. In the wardrobe, we have a yoga mat, a safe, and some storage. And the view from this room, well, it's pretty good. We're out of the hotel finally. We're just gonna wander around this little area here in, uh, near the hotel. Again, we're in Covent Garden, and yeah, pretty nice so far. That's fine, something to eat though. Yes. Okay, we had some sourdough pizza for a quick bite. We got our coffee, and we're continuing on our way to Buckingham Palace. Beautiful temperature, great afternoon for a walk. There seems to be quite a bit of construction and cleaning going on here in Trafalgar Square. Here is Canada House, home of Canada's diplomats here in London. Buckingham Palace. We're currently in front of Canada Gate and we're going to head across the street to Buckingham Palace for our stateroom tour. Don't think we can bring cameras in so we'll keep you posted.
made it through the stateroom tour. That was very interesting. We're back on the outside in the Buckingham Palace garden. And yeah, we weren't allowed to record anything inside, but it was super interesting, lots of history and things that you normally only see on TV for us. But now walking through the garden finishing up after that tour Okay, we made it about as far distance-wise as we're gonna make it today. We're at Kensington Palace. We're gonna wander around this area a bit. And then we're gonna slowly make our way back toward Covent Garden, back toward our hotel. After is, we do some shopping, well, right? right? We'll see what the time says, but it's now just about 7 p.m. So we put a few hours in and quite a few steps. So uh, yeah, we're gonna wander around here and make our way back. Perhaps the train is in store. Or, sorry, the tube. The tube. Well, that was a long day. Sure was, and we've been without sleep for about 30 hours now, but we made our way to the hotel when we got here. Luckily, we got our room pretty early. Made our way over to Buckingham Palace for our stateroom tour, which was very good. Went to Kensington Palace, went through Kensington Gardens, Hyde Park, and then made our way to do a little bit of shopping, but ultimately back here to Covent Garden, Picked up a few things for the room. Now we're back and we are going to sleep. So we will see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good morning. Actually, it's afternoon. Who's lying? We slept in a bit late this morning because, well, our body still thinks it's 5, 6 a.m. But it's now just afternoon. And we're basically just going to head out, find some breakfast, brunch maybe, and, um, and just explore. And a new piece of luggage. Oh yes, our luggage yeah. got broken sometime between the airport and the hotel. So we can't be giving the porters at the cruise port our broken luggage to lug around. So we are in the market for a new piece today. Uh, other than that, yeah, we're just gonna grab some something to eat and then we're gonna head uh, later on today down toward the central area of London, check out the areas down around Big Ben and uh, Westminster Abbey and those areas. So let's see where today takes us. For a couple of hours already, uh, just exploring Covent Garden and kind of the surrounding area. We're gonna head more towards central London. We're gonna make our way toward Tower of London and kind of walk along the river and go from there.
made it to Tower Bridge, just made our way through the crowds there, but it was excellent. Now we just need to make our way down to the Queen's Walk and we're gonna walk along the river. still have to get something to eat and then we'll slowly make our way back toward the hotel area but for now we're gonna go explore a bit more let's go some dinner now. We had a hard time finding a place because it got really busy really quick and we didn't realize quite how early some of the places stopped serving food. So finally we're here at a pizzeria called Miss, let's see, Mrs. Riot. So we're getting some pizza and some appies and the beverage and then we are calling it quits. We will get some sleep because tomorrow is our last full day here in London. Here we are, 18 kilometers later. We put a lot of steps in today, but we are getting ready for a good night's sleep because tomorrow is our final full day here in London before we head off to Southampton the following day. So please like these videos and subscribe because you're not gonna want to miss all of our time on the Celebrity Silhouette coming up. Thank you for joining along so far. Good night. Okay, for today, day three, and our final day here in London, we are essentially making no plans, other than picking up our replacement piece of luggage after our luggage got broken on day one. So we're gonna do that, we're gonna find some breakfast, and then we're just gonna play it by ear, see what London brings us today. We're gonna try to stay again within walking distance of Covent Garden because we've been everywhere else it seems already. So we'll go for breakfast, pick up our replacement piece of luggage, and we'll see where the day goes. I just want to show how cute this little courtyard area in front of the hotel is. It's got its own little bar. It's got beverages available for guests. Very cute. so far, which everybody keeps saying we've been very fortunate to get three beautiful days and we need one more and we'll be all set. All right, we finally settled in for a beverage here at the Nags Head Pub. Lovely little view here outside at uh, still in Covent Garden. Uh, we're gonna have a little beverage, a little bite to eat and then head back out. But yeah, let's check this out. And we're on the move again. Ok, 
Okay, we've been wandering around for a few more hours. Now we're just gonna jump on the Elizabeth line. Uh, we're gonna take the underground just back toward uh, Covent Garden area. Elizabeth line is the newest line to the underground, as long as I don't get run over in the meantime. Uh, so yeah, let's jump on the Elizabeth line. Again, after another, well, very warm afternoon out, the temperature has been great since we arrived, which is awesome. Uh, did a little bit of shopping, but now we need to get ourselves ready because we are heading to the theater this evening uh, to see a show that we didn't anticipate heading off to see, but more to come on that. So we're gonna get ready and head off to this show. Okay, we've made it to our show for tonight, which is Mrs. Doubtfire. Yep, it's close to our hotel. It was There were tickets available. We can't record anything inside, of course, so we'll let you know how it is. Well, that was great. Yeah, that was a really good show. Well worth a few hours, but now it is after 10 p.m. and we still have to go find something for dinner and get back to the hotel and pack because tomorrow we do head to Southampton. Officially our pre-cruise day tomorrow. So we're gonna go look after that and we'll see you tomorrow on the way to Southampton. Good night. Good night. On our next episode, come with us as we make our way on board the Celebrity Silhouette for our Norwegian Fjords cruise from Southampton. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can come along as we find out if Celebrity and this itinerary turned out to be the right cruise for us.